Harris lands a couple shots in the ribs, no real damage, but they certainly landed. Wallace, the left footed, is blocked by Lewis. Too quick. Looks like a snake flicking his tongue at you when Wallace does that. It's so easy for him to do. It just comes up so effortless. Yeah, and I never could do it. <laughs> could you? Well, of not course, like that. <laughs> not like that. And not with that leg. You know, I was going to say earlier, I'm one of the few people in history that saw Bill Wallace throw a right leg. He did that in his retirement fight. Really? 10 or 12 years ago, yeah. And uh, well, it wasn't very impressive. And everybody kind of gave him his opponent laugh, and uh, he didn't do that anymore. You know, uh, you, got, you got to wonder a little bit about uh, why these guys are doing this. Uh, Wallace, of course, you know, is doing it because he loves this sport and he wants to help it. Joe Lewis is making the point he told us earlier, John, that, that he just wants to prove what a 45, 46-year-old man can be and do. Also wants to be a role model. And I think either one of these guys, you know, if, uh, if my kids were able to grow up either one, like either one of these guys, I'd consider I did a good job. Absolutely. Absolutely. They've both been tremendous examples. And both of them go around the country and give seminars all over the country. So I'm sure that uh, the promotional value is, is something that they're uh, interested in. It's, it's nice to get out there in front of people again. I'm not sure what caused that look on Wallace's face, but he just rolled his eyes and walked away like, why am I doing this? You know, really, this has been Lewis's best round. He's landed some pretty strong punches and has managed to avoid being hit. And that's the end of round number three. Scheduled for seven here. As we look into the corner of Bill Wallace, and you know, Bill, with all the uh, with all the weight difference here, we're talking 33 different pounds, Bill trained down. Bill lost about eight pounds for this fight uh, in the process of training. He's cut about as well, cut up body-wise, about as well, as lean as I've ever seen him be. Here you can see in the dressing room of Daryl Hennigan, who is the FFKA championship, he will be involved with Dennis Alexia here to unify the uh, heavyweight championship of the world, all of the bodies are sanctioning this particular fight. So whoever wins this fight between that man right there, Daryl Hennigan, and uh, Dennis Alexio will be the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world. That fight, of, of course, coming up after this one. But to round four now of a schedule seven, Bill Wallace and Joe Lewis. Wallace in the gray, Lewis in the blue. Wallace, the very first heavyweight champion in this sport. He single-handedly moved this sport from being a point-fighting kind of a thing. And Wallace, with a lot of kicks that never landed, and Lewis says, let's go. <laughs> and you know these guys are having fun. That's a good sidekick. Doesn't use it as much as he might, Joe Lewis, but it, when it lands, it hurts you, John. He used to use it extremely effectively as a point-fighter, more so than he does a kickboxer. But he's, he's uh, scored many, many points with that left-leg sidekick, and he's landed it uh, really effectively. He used to drop guys in point fighting to the body and he was just really the most intimidating fighter maybe that the sport has ever seen now i know john you you uh, were an old-time point fighter you ever hook up with either one of these guys i've uh, fought wallace sometimes just in, uh, at tournaments uh, never fought lewis thank goodness <laughs> he was a heavyweight i wasn't and i was glad of i guess the obvious question here john is and maybe i'm putting you on the spot if i am i apologize in the fan in advance how'd you do i guess wallace yeah not good <laughs> I did like about most everybody else. <laughs> well, the one time I got up there in the ring with him in exhibition situation, I didn't do very well either, although I was just the referee, but we were having some fun nevertheless. Wallace was obviously the, the class of his time, and uh, I felt good if I could score on him. <laughs> yes. Just like to keep it into single digits there, Bill. Yeah. Interesting night, though, you know, with both Wallace and Lewis here, and, of course, Chuck Norris, another one of the all-time great point fighters, probably the three of them, the most recognized names in this sport still after all these years. we got Ben Yurkidis here tonight. He's Absolutely. one of the all-time great kickboxing champions. Everybody's here. And of course now, Benny has never really officially retired. Benny still wants to go one more time, maybe two. And uh, who knows, we may see Benny Yurkidis up here next time. It'll be a great show. There'll be a lot of people love to see. Under 10 seconds left in a round of number four. Bill Wallace in uh, gray, Joe Lewis in the blue.
fast front leg, a left round kick. He follows with a jab and sticks it up there and sticks about three or four in a row over the top of the head. Lewis just folding up the arms, saying, okay, I've seen that. I'm not real impressed here, Bill, but he did land a couple of them in there. Truthfully, Wallace has uh, not been uh, able to land uh, that uh, high kick as much as I thought he would. Very, Joe Lewis very good at stopping it. Uh, Wallace certainly controls the pace and flow of the action. And Bill just looked over here as the round started. Kind of rolled his eyes again. Good left hook in there by Joe Lewis. And as if they're going to step up the pace a little bit, Joe's starting to swing him. We are in round five, scheduled for seven. Lewis now picking up the action, working the body in there. You know, I think that he's trying to go in and see if he can take some of the steam out of Wallace by going in and throwing those hooks to the lower rib area. And again, Wallace answering back. But uh, quite frankly, if you're going to get in close quarters with Joe Lewis, nine times out of ten, you're going to get pushed around and come on the short end because Joe is a much stronger man. Uh, with 33 pounds, you would expect that he would be. Wallace, the faster man. Well, fighters for about 20 years have been trying to get inside of that Wallace front leg, and uh, nobody's had a lot of luck with it, so it's, it's not easy. You know, Wallace and Lewis both came in here just a couple of days ago, so they have not been training in this altitude, yet both of them appear to be in good shape here as we get into this fifth round. Lewis moving in, faking the right, throwing the left, catching Wallace in the ribs there. Wallace trying to hold on until he can get some distance here. Underneath, there's a left hook to hit the jaw. First punch was blocked. Lewis starting to throw some heavy stuff now. Wallace doing a good job when they do get locked in there of tying up those arms. I'm sure that every one of those punches that Lewis throws, he feels he doesn't want to take any more of those than he has to. And, uh, Wallace's wife, Susie, over here on the side, looking at us and beginning to wonder why is he doing this. A lot of people probably do. I think they're having fun up there. They're, they're, they're having a good time. I tell you, this is something that uh, all great athletes want to do. You know, at some point, after they've not done it a while, they want to see if they can still do it. This is a test for them. It's a great opportunity for them. <laughs> Straight right hand by Lewis as the bell ends. What would you call that kick that Wallace landed there? Sort of a hook kick, I guess, but not exactly. Well, yeah, it is a hook kick. I don't know what else you'd call it. He, he's uh, his hook kick and round kick and side kick are what he does. That's what he lives off of. And he lives very well off of them, too. At least he is tonight. As we are now into the getting ready for the sixth round of a scheduled seven-rounder. In the last couple of rounds, actually, Lewis has done better. He's gotten inside and landed quite a few punches. There's a hook kick that lands up high on the head. That hurts because you catch it with the heel, that little bony part of your heel down there on the bottom of your foot. You kind of wrap that thing up against the side of your head there. It's yeah, not it comes up around the temple area, and it, uh, it will definitely rattle your cage. 45 years old, doesn't look much the worse for wear to me, does he to you? <laughs> no, he looks great. Don't tell him I said that, though. I, don't I will not. That. No, no. Wallace is a guy that you just, you gotta bust his chops whenever you can. You gotta tease him, because he'll get to you unmercifully if you don't. Round six, schedule seven, and the hook kick, or the uh, hook kick from Wallace lands. And Joe says, okay, now, and Wallace is clowning a little bit with him. Again, that high kick blocked by Joe Lewis, but it comes at you fast. You know, Wallace throwing, obviously, a lot more kicking technique than Lewis. Lewis having landed quite effectively with his hands in the last couple of rounds. It's fairly close here, actually, as far as uh, points scored, I think. I haven't really been scoring it as carefully, but uh, it looks like a fairly uh, close fight to me. Well, uh, you know, either one of these guys got nothing to... Uh, <laughs> a low kick there, and... Uh, Inadvertent low kick, and Lewis says, hey, let's keep him up, babe. Well, and you know, perhaps at the age of 46, more so than ever, you uh, <laughs> don't want to get into that problem. See, Lewis now almost reverting to point fighting. He, he locked into a pretty deep stance and just threw a lunge punch with his right hand and scored to the body. Right above our broadcast position.